Cowboys Thank back, mixing with Hitman Payne. Today we want to go into something different. I'm showing somebody how to side chain a kick. Yes, sir. Side chain a kick in NFL Studio. Let's go. All right. So there's several ways you can side chain a kick. First thing we're gonna do is boom. We're gonna speed this up over here. Oh, yes, sir. We got our kick. We didn't find the kick. There are several ways you can side chain a kick. We might have to do this. Stop it. Nah, I like my left hand off. Several ways that you can sub, you can side chain a kick. It's depending on what you want to side chain it to and your desired effect. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna do like the simplest thing that you can do. This right here, some um, we're gonna use FL Studio native plugins. So a native plugin is what we're gonna use right now to do this to side chain this kick. So we find our kick right here, kick, and when it hits. We want it to basically like uh, outshine the other instruments, overshadow the other instruments, but we don't want the other instruments to totally go away. So we want that particular instrument to be prominent at that time that it's playing. Uh, it could be a desired effect or specifically just like a mixing choice, you know, a taste. So we're gonna take the kick and um, we have to see what is in the way of the kick. I don't feel like the bass is in the way of the kick. I feel like they played it good together. I feel like it's leveled. Uh, they're mixed really good. But let's say some of the instrument, you know, we wanted to really smack. So the instruments particularly. So we're going to take the kick and we're going to come on this down arrow. And we are going to click side chain to this track. Now, if you knew you only wanted to side chain it to this track specifically, you know, this track only, then you could do that. But that's not what we want to do. We want to leave the option open to do more mixing later. So we are going to side chain to this track. So you got your channel selected here. Mix your channel, kick. You simply come over here to the instrument bus, right click, and left click side chain to this track. As you see another wire goes here and it's added on the track. Now, we're gonna come and click on the extra bus. I have this loaded up already. This is the Fruity Limiter, Fruity native plugin. I love this plugin. It's a very good tool. Come in, all your Fruity plugs are right here. Just pick Fruity Limiter. Boom, we're up and rolling. Now we already routed it to this channel. So to actually get it to work, we're gonna click comp, which means compressor. And then we're going to right click. And these are everything that's basically side chain to this track. So we want to pick what we want to control when this plays hits, when this kick hits, it's gonna make everything on this channel we have it routed to move out the way. Get back, give me six feet. Yes, sir. Or give me give me six dB. Give me six dB. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna pick the kick, left click. Now, let's go to play here. It's playing just fine, but nothing's happening. This is the normal signal. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick our ratio. So how hard do you want that kick to hit? How hard do you want those instruments or whatever it is that you're side chaining the two to get out of the way? I think eight to one is something good. It is a heavier compression to be honest, eight to one. But we can always go back and uh, move our settings around once we, you know, once we're going. So. Let's see, and then the knee, uh, this is basically how hard, you know, of a curve. So when it hits, you can kind of have it go a little bit. You can have it go backwards as far as like a lighter knee. Um, and it's basically the hold on it once it hits. So if you increase it all the way real hard, like it's going, when it hits, you know, when the kick hits, boom, it's going to knock that instrument's way down, boom. And if you turn it down, you know, it'll be a less of a effect. So boom. we're going to go all the way with it. And then your threshold. So th this is what, at what DB does this kick kick in? 
when does it start this is the level that it'll start and as you see the audio on here is pretty low so i like to start at negative 30. that's just like a general um db to start at it's no there's no like you have to do this you have to do that but as you see excuse me you see right on that line there I'm pointing like y'all can see right here with me. <laughs> but if y'all look right here, um, where this X is, we we'll call this a little X or cross here. Got it in our crosshairs. Uh, let's make this bigger. So y'all can see a lot better. Right here, you see it's kind of knocking that thing off, man. Look at that. Look at that. In the mix with Hitman Pain. Let's go. You look right here. It's knocking the top off of those instruments. I mean, that's a that's a good bit. And you see the kick here. When it's hitting, that stuff is just ducking out of the way on these peaks. And that's kind of basically what we want to do. We don't want to, like, kill it. Like, that's not what we want to do. So let's play it again. So we got that. Let's turn it off and see if we have any difference. Can't really tell, right? I said we want a subtle effect. We wanted to hit. We don't want it to be too prominent because what's going to happen if we make it too prominent, so you get a pumping effect like, a, I don't know, you know, rave music or I'm not sure what type of music does. It's just like that, that, that rave techno type of music. That's what you're going to get if you hit it real hard. Maybe that's what you want. If you want a pumping effect, boom, boom. Boom, boom. And it's just moving that stuff out of the way, then that's what you can get. Of course, this is hip hop, rap, trap. So you're going to get something a little bit different. But if you want that hard of an effect, we can do that too. So what we'll do is we'll pull back on this threshold. Let's go to 40, another 10 dB. See what happens. Listen to the kick. That actually sounds nice, like it makes it very, very prominent. We're going to turn it off and turn it on and turn it off and turn it on so y'all can see the difference. I think it's pretty nice, but we have to pull back some. See, once you can hear it and it's at a good place where you wanted it, you want to pull back a little bit. So, we're going to come back down and meet about halfway, 35 ish. I'm going to put my headphones all the way on and let's see what we got. That's nice now. Let's try one more time just so I can hear. I got both of my ears on. I want to hear what happens if we go to 40. I don't feel like anyone would really know if we left it at that. But we want to take discretion when we're mixing. We want to keep the dynamics. We want to keep the energy. So... We're going to back off a little bit. We got what we want, but we're going to back off with just a little bit. This is how I do it. This is how I mix. And y'all mixing with Hitman Pain. 35. And 35. Now, that's one way to sidechain a kick. That is uh, the compressor route. You take a compressor, you route it to that track, and then it's 